Welcome to another day in smoky California. That's right. It's pretty smoky out. It's actually getting better now. The campfire, it's been about a week and a half or so. So the air quality is getting a little bit better, but it's still pretty bad. I have the mask in here, but I'm probably going to stay in my car just so I don't get out into the smoke as much. I will say one thing I've realized with all the smokiness and how bad the air quality is since we, California had the worst air quality in the world this past week. It made me realize how grateful I am for fresh air. You know, it's something you take, everybody takes that for granted. Like if you live in a place, which you probably do right now that has decent air quality, you're probably not even thinking about it. You're not even like going, you know, saying every day, man, I'm grateful for this fresh air. It's probably just something that you assume when you wake up, the air is going to be nice and fresh and breathable. But uh, here, man, it just makes me grateful because there's places in the world where they wake up every day and they have to wear a mask to go outside. You know, the place that comes to my head is places in China. I'm, I'm, I think there's places in India like that as well. And there's probably other places around the world. I'm just ignorant of those facts. It's funny to see how this plein air journey is kind of evolving because I was like riding my bike a lot, finding places, and then I got a flat tire and then I had to walk around to find places and drive a little bit. And now it's like since the air quality, I'm back in the car again. So like it's always just evolving and changing, I'm finding. Very interesting. Anyway, let's get going. All right, folks, that's what I'm look, thinking of painting, that maroon tree with the, the buildings behind it. I think I like this, man. I like, I was driving by and then I was like, oh man, I gotta pull over and see if there's something there. Cause I really like the vibrancy of the, the colors of the buildings. And then that maroon tree in front of them, kind of just contrasting that and the red against the greens, even though it's kind of a maroon, dark, subtle red. I don't know, I, I found it interesting, just kind of the organic shapes mixed with the buildings. That's one thing that's cool about UC Davis around here. It's like you can have kind of the organic trees and, and bushes and stuff and then the hard lines of the buildings. And um, these particular buildings are really cool painted. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna go for it and then try to really simplify the buildings and kind of just focus on suggesting windows and stuff like that instead of sitting there painting every single little window so that's that's going to be my exercise for today because in the past with buildings i really failed when i went to england i, I kind of failed painting the chatsworth house and stuff and uh this time i really want to keep it loose and suggest stuff but really just get the colors nailed down and focus on suggesting elements so i think that's what i'm gonna go with today i mean I know these videos aren't as like adventurous because I'm stuck in the car, I'm not walking around, you're not really seeing anything, but it is what it is, man. Until this smoke really clears up and it's it's getting pretty close, maybe in the next week or so, week or two, get out, start walking around. Let's try this painting, man. Hopefully it comes out cool.
this has been a rough sketchbook for me, man. This one is full of challenges for me. So there's the sketch. I think I got the values pretty well here. You know, probably slightly off. It looks a little strange because the it's always challenging for me when something is actually lighter than value than the sky. And then it's it tends to make when you make the sky darker, it tends to make the sky look stormy or less bright, you know, the overall scene. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it is what it is. So there's my painting and the scene. Yeah, I think it came out pretty well. I mean, I matched the colors pretty close. Yeah, this isn't I, I I'm not, I can't say this is like my favorite sketchbook that I've ever done. And I, I'm really part of the problem. I'm really struggling with this Fabriano paper. I'm, I'm really not liking it compared to arches arches like I can get the paint to come off so much easily more easily and with this it's really a struggle with the techniques that I kind of use when I need to lift pigment off and uh, this paper just doesn't seem to hold up as well I'm not sure if it's the kind of uh, I don't know if it's like less premium paper or something anyway I can't blame that completely you know part of it is is my painting as well but I'm definitely struggling with the Fabriano paper from what I can tell also, one reason this scene was challenging is because it's very smoky out, so the sun isn't really at its full strength. So it's kind of, it's almost overcast. It's like the shadows are very, the shadows aren't as dark as they normally would be on a sunny day. So the the value contrast here is a little more subdued than it normally would be on a sunny day. So it tends to make the scene look a little funny. You know, things just look a little bit off. But... It is what it is, man. I did my best, painted what I could, and uh, that's all I can do, so just move on to the next. Just got to move on to the next sketch. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to check out my other plein air adventures in the playlist on the screen right now. I'd appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Peace.